Blair Hero of Chaos Costumes, and have you guys ever wondered how to make your own prosthetics, horns, or masks to fit your face perfectly? Well, I have the solution for you, and you don't need anything crazy expensive. I mean, iPhones and iPads are kind of expensive, but hopefully you either know somebody or have one already. I'm gonna teach you guys how to scan your head or whatever you want with an app called EM3D. Without further ado, let's go. So what you're going to go to is the app store and search for EM3D. And then this is what you're looking for. You will need to use an Apple device to be able to use this because Apple devices have LiDAR in the selfie camera. That's for facial recognition when you try to unlock your phone. So when you scan your face, you can kind of see what the camera is going to pick up by seeing like the little green scan of your face. That's what we're going to look for. You wanna make sure the background doesn't pop up and stand in front of like a blank wall, but not too close to that blank wall. Now you see little dots that form in green around your face and you don't wanna move yourself. You wanna move the device around your face and stay as still as possible. This might take a couple tries just to get the perfect scan. So here is the result of my facial scan. And it does color it in for you, but we won't need that. After you save it, what you'll want to do is click on Actions and then Export STL. That does cost a little bit of money, but it's a one-time fee and you have it forever. We're gonna export that out exactly to Nomad. And you see here, here's my face, the STL of my face. Now it's time to edit it. So here in Nomad, you can see my face. And unfortunately, it's hollow on the inside, so we're gonna wanna voxel remesh it before we do anything. If we tried to trim it before doing this, it's gonna calculate the geometry really weird. So what I'm gonna do here is in the gizmo, we're gonna move origin. That will move your scan where it needs to be so that we can trim it symmetrically. What I'm gonna do is go in with the crease tool to kind of clean up my facial details. My lips are a little blurry, so sharpening those up. You don't wanna get too crazy with adding or subtracting details because it can change the topology of your face and we don't want that. You can kind of get clearer details if you scan multiple parts of your face closer and then glue it all together, but that's a lot more difficult. I can smooth out the texture of the scan here, at least. Here I'm shoring up the eyelids, making them a little more crisp. And then going with the clay tool to kind of build up that eyelid. You don't really have to do this. Now I want to map out where my hairline is, so I'm going to go in with a different color and kind of trace that out before I smooth out my hair. I want to add a cube on the back half just to clean up the shapes. You can also add the head preset if you want to flesh out the roundness of your head. Or you can have a friend help you scan your entire head. Here I'm seeing that it's a little asymmetrical, so I'm toggling the symmetry line and pushing and pulling my head where it needs to be. And then smoothing out my hair. You can avoid this process by either putting on a bald cap or a wig cap, like a smooth wig cap, to flatten out your head when it scans. I want to show what you can do without any extra tools other than an Apple device. I want to clean up this hairline a bit. So now that I have it symmetrically placed, I can do that. So here we have a copy of our face that we can boolean out of anything. And since it scans one to one, it will fit you perfectly. This is a bust I made of myself a while ago, I used this almost exclusively to make my masks, horns, or anything I really need. How I got it so crisp is that I scanned myself numerous times to get certain details of my facial features. 
and then glued them together and smoothed them out. That's the more advanced way of using this tool. But you can see how nice and crisp this is, and you can see all of my ear details and eyes and mouth and whatnot. But it took a little bit of work. So it wasn't as easy as just scanning your head and just getting straight to it. You do have to clean up the model a little bit, but I hope this helped a lot with barrier to entry and scanning your own head so you can make stuff that fits you perfectly. I hope this video was really useful to you and if you have any suggestions of other things you wanted to see please comment down below. If you like this video hit the like button and if you really like what I'm doing please subscribe. Every little bit helps. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next week.